Continuing with the boolean operation in Katia V5, we have seen the part design features, the features we need for creating the bodies. Then we have seen how we can create the multiple bodies, the featured bodies. When we have the featured bodies, we will need to apply copy paste or copy paste special of those bodies for two specific reasons. One is uh, you will need a body multiple times then you don't have any option if you are not going for copy paste or copy paste special. Second case is if you want to make any modification in any particular body then it will be difficult to find that body after applying boolean operation on that. Now let's have a look at the boolean operations we have in Katia V5. So I'll move on to the software and we will start with that. So this is what we have software's interface. I had created the featured bodies and I had taken the copies of those bodies definitely by copy paste special as a result with link. Now I will apply the boolean operation between them. For that I will need the boolean operation toolbar so anywhere on the bottom pan or on the right hand side pan I will right click I will get a list of the toolbars and in that I will find the boolean operation toolbar. I will need to bring that boolean operation toolbar out so that I can access the features this boolean operation toolbar has. So this is what the toolbar is the boolean operations we have features like assemble then we have three features add remove intersect then we have union trim and remove lump. These are the boolean operation we have in Katia V5. Now one by one we will apply these boolean operations on the bodies we have created. But before that I would like to take you to the PPT we have here. Over here we had two bodies this one and this one we had applied the boolean operation between these two body so I will do the same I will go to the software over here I will check body A no it is not there body B body C body D and body E so I will hide other bodies just for the convenience say I will keep body A and body C now I will apply the boolean operation between these two. So the first operation that we have is add. Add there will be a dialog box you will have to select the bodies addition of say body C into body A. You will select addition of what into what as per you want the feature tree to be. When I am adding C into A, so the result will be final body will be A in which there will be features of body A then addition of body C with the features of body C. So what I want is final body to be body A. That's why I am going for C into A. If I want the final body to be body C then I will go for addition of A into C. So that matters what you select. I will say OK. Now you can observe the feature tree of body A. Body A has its solid addition of body C. So this is what one body now. Then next we had this much result I have achieved. Now on boolean operation on this and this body. On these two bodies I will apply another boolean operation that will be again addition so I will show that body first and then I will go for addition addition of body B into body A and I will say ok what will happen in the addition all these bodies whatever the material these bodies have will be combined or will be joined will be added when the material will be added 
the particular body will have the combined material of all three bodies then next operation we have between these two bodies the body 4 and body 5 we had created the block and the spear now in this case we have a different result the result in such manner that whatever the common material these two bodies have or these two shapes have that is my result the material which is common in both the cases in the both the bodies for now i will hide body a and i will show body d and body e so the result that i want is common material between body d and body e for that i will go for intersect intersection of body e into body d say preview or say okay so this is what the result you are going to get then right now we have two bodies body a and body d let's have a look body a this one body d this one now what i will do i will remove body a from d so i will apply the same operation here i will go for, go for removal of removal of a from d so the final result will be d say okay this is how you will get the result now let's have a look at the tree body d its feature intersection of e then removal of a in body a we had its feature addition of c addition of b and all these are your dead solids so if i want to make any modification i don't need to search any particular body from this what i can do is i can any time go to these parent bodies and i can get the required result or i can make the required modifications let's say let's modify body d or body e now these bodies are visible to me and this body d is also there overlapped okay so let's say i'll make the modification in this uh, body d has the spear i will just make some modification say instead of 80 it is 85 say okay as soon as you will say 85 and hide these two bodies see the there is some change in the result or again you can make some more modification say i'll make it 95 say update you will be able to observe the changes over here you can see the changes we have this is how you can perform the boolean operation make the changes in the parent bodies we have it will be easier for us and then you have the final body available where you can apply the boolean operation later on if you want to any other if you want to apply any other feature say i have to apply fillets over here over here yes i can easily do that but this is how the tree is maintained this is your just an introduction to boolean operation in that we have seen three features addition of bodies removal of one body from another body and intersection of two bodies or the material these two bodies have next let's have a look at two more features we have union trim and remove lump for that i will need to open a new file let's have a look at this we have two bodies these are featured body i have i have already created these two bodies and these bodies have the features so first of all what i will do i will make a copy i will go for paste special as result with link generated for the body b again i will copy go for paste special as result with link and then i will hide the featured one now the feature is remove 
lump to apply remove lump first we will need to go for removal first we will need to go for the removal so what i will do i will say remove body b from body a as soon as i will go for this removal option this removal of bodies what will happen there will be two lumps created you can see this body a has these two lumps available or these two portions available out of these two if i want to remove something let's say i want to remove this one or i want to remove this one then i will use remove lump so i will go for remove lump click on this the software will ask me select the select the body to trim i will select the body to trim from here or from here i can select then it will ask me either faces to remove or faces to keep so let's say i want to remove a particular face say this one as i am maintaining the tangency throughout the lump this particular lump will be removed if you have not maintained the tangency then you might need to select multiple faces and i will say okay so this is your remove lump see the tree a a it a has its own feature which is linked with the parent one removal of body b and there is a trim or remove lump you can see the symbol of remove lump this is your remove lump feature then we have another feature union trim so again i have two bodies body a body b having its own features having its own features and we have to apply union trim between these two so first of all i will make copy i will go for paste special as a result with link again i will make copy i will go for paste special with link and i will hide the parent one now what union trim will do so union trim trim will give you the result in combination of both as name itself is saying union and trim means you have to unite the bodies you have to add the bodies as well as you have to trim the bodies so you have to apply both the operations in a single operation i will go for union trim now software will ask me select the body to trim i will say this one i have selected it has automatically detected the another body if not then you can select then faces to remove and faces to keep so the unite operation has already been done if you will say okay here so you can see the result of addition i am getting both the bodies are united but i can trim as well so i'll just modify this and i will select faces to remove yes all the faces have been added but i want to remove some faces out of this for that say i'll select this particular face i want to remove what i'll say okay so you can see this particular portion this portion or i will say the body has been united but some portion has been trimmed i had selected the face to remove that face has been removed as it was maintaining the tangency but over here i had not selected this face this has not been removed if i'll select this as well that will also be removed like just i'll go for modification in trim again faces to remove i'll select this as well so total two elements i want to remove this one and this one say okay this is your union trim in boolean operation this is what we have in boolean operation we have covered add remove intersect remove lump and union trim